Clemson University was founded in 1889 as a military school and has since grown to be one of the top schools in the nation. It is known for good scholars, happy students, and of course, the greatest 25 seconds in college football. Greek life is a century-long way for college students to meet new friends or brothers and sisters who help them find their way through college. On the Clemson campus, there are 20 fraternities and 12 sororities. Of the near 17,000 Clemson undergraduates, 24% of them are members of a fraternity or a sorority. All members may have joined for different reasons, but have all found brothers and sisters who share similar experiences. Joining a fraternity or a sorority is more than joining a club or an organization. Those who join fraternities and sororities truly become brothers and sisters. However, for just as many students who join a fraternity, there are even more who decide to not go Greek in college. Many people believe that they won't be able to handle the workload and feel that they can enjoy college just as much without pledging a fraternity. Although not the only reason, David has not joined a fraternity and is getting through college just fine. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is David. David, are you in a fraternity? I'm not. Why did you not rush the semester at Clemson? Uh, my parents didn't want me to and it would take away time from academics. How do you think the Greek life is at Clemson? It sounds pretty good. Uh, a lot of fun. They hang out together, meet a lot of people, get your brothers, or if you're a girl, meet your sisters. Do you think you made the right decision not rushing? I do. I think it's. I think it was a good choice. Uh, meet people without that, so it's, it's been alright. Those in fraternities have many different things to say. But the general idea seemed to be the same for most members. They feel that the benefits of joining a fraternity or a sorority will help them more with college than will hurt them. Can you introduce yourself, please? Uh, my name is Andrew Kevin Hyman. Are you in a fraternity? Yes, I am. Why did you join a fraternity? Um, I joined a lot because God was talking to me at the time and just kind of directed me in a way that was going to lead me down a good path, keep me straight. How is the Greek life at Clemson? Greek life here is pretty good. Um, we don't have a Greek grow like other uh, universities, but overall that makes us stronger in the end. What are some good things about joining a fraternity? When you're coming in as a freshman, you really don't know a whole lot. So uh, it's a group of guys that you can hang out with and that will show you the way to make good grades. What are some bad things about joining a fraternity? It's a time commitment and there's money, but there's really not that many bad points. Thank you. Many sorority members, like Gracie of Alpha Chi Omega, state that joining a sorority can help one's grades. She believes that Clemson has a diverse background for Greek life and that the stereotypes about sororities are not true and that Clemson Greek members are not all party animals. She has been able to make a difference and give back to her community while also making time to spend with her sisters. Fraternity members at Clemson, like Javi Suarez, join to develop lifelong friendships. He believes joining a fraternity is very beneficial to members and that the connections you will make will help you once you graduate to find a job. He believes, like most members, that he has made the right decision to pledge a fraternity. He believes that he has developed skills that he would not have established otherwise that are necessary for college to manage one's busy schedule. 
Julia Brino of Chi Omega followed in her sister's footsteps, who also joined a sorority. After hearing about her sister's experiences, she decided to join at Clemson what she feels is a very connected Greek life. She finds the social aspect of joining a sorority is very beneficial and that she meets many people and finds many events to attend. Due to the mandatory study hours of her sorority, she has been able to receive help on her homework from other sorority members and keep up her grades. Although some of the meetings and events can be difficult to manage with her classwork, she believes she absolutely made the right decision and that going Greek will help her through college. According to a study by the University of Missouri, those who decide to go Greek in college throughout the United States and Canada are more involved in their campuses and rate their overall experience at their university better than those who do not join a fraternity or a sorority. Statistically speaking, overall collective GPA amongst those in Greek life or the all fraternity and sorority GPA is higher than the overall collective GPA of college students. Being in a sorority or a fraternity also helps you make connections in many major companies across the globe. For companies that are in the Fortune 500, about 85% of key executives are fraternity and sorority members. Many people in other high positions are members of Greek life also, including presidential cabinet members, Supreme Court justices, and even presidents. As a matter of fact, since 1825, all but two United States presidents have been members of Greek organizations. There is also another common type of fraternity that has become more popular in recent years. Fraternities like Delta Sigma Pi, which is a business professional fraternity, are entering the Greek world. These fraternities allow both men and women to join and are strictly designed for professional aspect to meet other business associates. Also similar are community service fraternities, which also allow men and women and are for students who are looking for a way to meet people and give back to the community. As for the hazing that is committed during pledge season, the acts are not as bad as they are stereotyped in movies and on websites. Public communication has made pledging for a fraternity appear as though it is dangerous and that a person is prone to wind up in a field of an unknown location with no way of getting back to campus. In reality, scenarios like that are no more than fictional stories that, today, are only seen in movies and on TotalFratMove.com. Over the years, Greek life has drastically changed and is more often seen today as social fraternities. Pledge season today consists of a lot of party set up house cleaning, and driving brothers around. Hazing ranges from having to wear the same shirt every day to standing on the library bridge giving out compliments to those who walk by. If hazing was truly horrible, people would not join fraternities and the school would not allow the fraternity to exist. The pledge season only lasts less than one semester and after that, a now brother gets to enforce all the rules on new pledges that were enforced on him. At Clemson, being in a fraternity is not like what it appears in the movies. At Clemson, the Greek program's mission is to commit to the values of unity, leadership, service, scholarship, and accountability. There are minimum expectations of members and those who wish to join. Every member agrees to sign a non-hazing agreement must have a minimum GPA of 2.5 and each chapter must complete four approved educational programs a year among other requirements. Most fraternities and sororities maintain exquisite GPAs and are good role models to other students on campus. Going Greek is a great way to meet new people and create connections through one's college experience. Statistically, those who join go on to be more successful and enjoy college more than those who do not. Although Greek life can be time consuming and pledging can be a difficult time to get through, 
the benefits truly outweigh the effort put in.